Welcome back to Baby Lady Canterbury. Are you looking for a solution? Do you have an outdoor lifestyle where you need a pushchair that's going to cope with all types of terrain? Something with extra suspension, maybe something hard wearing that folds up really compactly. I might have the solution for you. So this is the brand new town and country from our lovely friends at Peg Perego. It's made in their Italian factory. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, we already sell their products. They, many years ago, used to make prams for mums and papas. So they've got a really long history in the industry. They've been making prams in their family-owned factory for nearly 80 years. So they know what they're doing. And they do make absolutely beautiful prams. This is brand new for the UK market. It is actually coming to market um, in a end of February 2024. We are currently the only store in the country to have this. Uh, we've got it on preview and they're very kindly going to let us keep it until the beginning of January. So if you want to come and see it for yourself, you can check it out. If you can't come along to our Canterbury store, we're going to do a full length demonstration video now um, on our YouTube channel because we know that you love the detail um, and I'll try and talk you through all of the absolutely brilliant features. So this brand new town and country uh, chassis from our lovely friends at PEG um, has a brand new carry court as well. So this new carry court will start to filter through on lots of the other models as well. Um, it's very similar to the carry courts that we've seen before from PEG, but it has some extra lovely features. So let's have a closer look. At the back of our carry court, we do have this extra ventilation panel. So here you've got a zip. Um, particularly we're seeing people now whose babies are due in the summer months you can it, you can unzip this and literally pop this cover down so that you've got full ventilation particularly for overnight sleeping now this carry cot is suitable for overnight sleeping it's a proper approved overnight sleeping it has a ventilated base i'm going to show you more of that in a minute um, and it really is perfect if you wanted to be able to use this in your house instead of a Moses basket. If you're looking for that solution, this may well be the one for you as well. So the carry cot slightly different shaped to the original um, carry cot. Um, I checked it the other day against the one we have here. It's just a tiny bit longer, not very much difference. Um, and it's slightly more tapered at the bottom to make it look I think very, very stylish. It will come in a choice of colorways, not just this gorgeous new um, cream color, but it will also come in the normal uh, peg color. So you'll be able to get it in the black. You'll be able to get it in the Fiat 500. There is also a gorgeous new gray. Um, I'll show you uh, pictures at the end. So this carry cot has an adjustable hood. You can actually put your hood down very simply by pressing on the top and you just pop your hood down. It's a really simple, easy way of adjusting your hood. It has an adjustable backrest. One of the lovely features that we absolutely really, really approve of from our friends in Italy are the adjustable backrests. So they have little handles that pull out on the front. This handle here pulls out and you can then twist it and we'll do a close up inside and you can see that you can adjust the backrest. Now this is great if your baby has reflux or colic um, it's absolutely fantastic option because it means you can raise their head up while still keeping their airways open which is so so important um, and it just helps with the breathing also maybe your baby's getting a little bit older they're a little bit curious about what's going on you don't want to put them into your push chair seat unit your carry cot has this adjustable backrest it also has a really gorgeous thick mattress it's really, really padded and comfortable. And underneath here, you can see your base is fully vented. This is one of the reasons why this is a brilliant carry cot for overnight sleeping, because it's completely vented underneath and very breathable. So the other end of our carry cot, we've got a handy little zip pocket here. And inside our zip pocket, you'll find an insect cover. Um, really handy if you're maybe going to pop your baby in the garden. All the fabrics are SPF uh, 50 protected, so they're really, really cosy. If you didn't want to keep your um, insect net in there, you could keep some tissues or a dummy. It's just a really handy little pocket. While we're talking about the carry cot, this carry cot is a hard bodied carry cot. This means that this carry cot God forbid you were involved in some sort of accident where something got hit you while you're walking along. It is a solid body that will protect your child, much, much safer than ones that are just fabric, um, obviously extreme circumstances, but it does add to the safety of this product. So if you're out and it's sunny, you've got a really handy little pull-out peak here, um, which you can just 
pull out just helps protect from this low sun and of course if you put your apron back up your little magnetic straps here just hold it in place and as you can see baby is very very well protected so we talked about the ventilation for overnight sleeping but we've also got daytime ventilation so if you're out and it's a little bit warm you just want to give a bit more ventilation you've got another zip on the back of the hood here which you can just undo and then you can see we've got ventilation here um, which allows air so it's really handy if it's hot and we are hoping we're going to have a gorgeous another hot summer and really really handy feature um, and I do like this and this is new to this carry cot as well um, so if we turn it back around you can see that it comes on a chassis with gorgeous suspension it does actually have adjustable suspension blocks we'll do a zoom in and hopefully you can see that these pieces here do actually adjust to make your suspension harder or softer which is a really really good option if you want something that you can take in the countryside now this really is designed the reason it's called town and country is designed to go anywhere so if you're the type of person that sometimes wants to walk through fields and mud and things like that you can do this all of your wheels are removable um, i'll show you that a little bit later but you also can take this into the town and the handy thing about this compared to a lot of competitor products is the chassis is only 57 centimeters wide so if you've got a smaller boot it folds very compactly it also goes through shop doorways really easily um, and it's a very very practical option so let's have a look at the chassis in a little bit more detail so to take our carry cot off so we can have a look at our chassis i've got two little flip up buttons on each side and all you do is lift them up and they will just stay lifted up and then you can just take your carry cot off your chassis like this now whilst i've got my chassis off well, my carry cut off the chassis rather have a look at the ventilation underneath can you see all that ventilation really really brilliant um, and it means that when your baby is in this carry cot they really are getting the air circulated around them which is so much better for their breathing just going to pop that down for a moment right so let's have a closer look at our chassis as you can see we've got a really nice big basket space i'm going to try and demonstrate the suspension can you see that it really does bounce without being too soft. Sometimes with these type of chassis, you almost get too much suspension, which feels like you're bouncing the baby around. Whereas this would feel, if you're pushing this over cobbles or stony ground, this will ride all the bumps. So if you're the type of person that doesn't want your baby shaped and rattled around, this may well all be the perfect thing for you. It's very easy to use brake on the back here. Press it down like that to put it on press it on the top to take it off. So it is technically flip-flop, open toe friendly um, because you can push it with one foot. So let's turn it back around. I'm gonna measure our handle. So the handle height is not telescopic. Peg chassis do not have pull-out handles. They move up and down. Um, this is the style of chassis that they make. So you would have to deal with that. Where this might fall down is if you have a very tall person but we can adjust our handle. I've got my tape measure here. Um, the handle will go up to this height, so you can make it very high. Um, yeah, 117 centimetres, pretty high. But you do need to bear in mind when you're pushing it, if you're very tall, you'd have to check whether or not you're going to be kicking this bar um, would be the only thing I would point out. I think if you're an average size, it's really not going to be a problem because this handle is very high. You can bring it right down. So if you're shorter like me, um, it's really easy to push. And one of the things with this, which is very different to some of the competitor products, is that it is very light to push. Although it's an outdoor product, it is very, very light to push. So I said, if you wanted to take your wheels off, I'm going to show you how to do it. So if I pop the chassis down like this, you've got a button on the inside of the wheel. It's quite difficult to access because obviously you don't want it accidentally to take the wheel off. But you just need to press that in. If you had a pen or something like that, it'd probably be a little bit easier than trying to use your finger. But you can just take your wheel out just like this. Um, you can see your wheel here. You can even see the suspension springs here that bounce. You can take this off, wash it down, jet wash it if you want to. Make sure you dry it back out. A little bit of lubricant back in it. Silicon lubricant is best, but you could use Vaseline or a little bit of grease, not WD-40. It is toxic. Please don't use it around baby products. It's not the best thing to use. Just pop your wheel back in like that. Make sure it's nice and secure and off you go. So perfect for that. And on our rear wheels, if we turn it around the other way. I'm trying to make this look elegant. It's quite hard. I come around this side. There's a button underneath that hopefully you can see here and you just press that in. 
and that allows you to take your rear wheel out and again you can clean it down clean your spindle if you've got mud and dirt it's really easy to do so that's your chassis let's have a look at it folded up so it's very very simple to fold i did mention earlier one of the great things about this chassis if you have a small car may well be perfect for you so to fold it up i'm just going to pop my brake on so to fold it up there's a button that you press with your thumb and there's also a button on the front and you press that and then squeeze those in with your fingers and if you just lift it up it will literally just slide down and fold it don't forget this is brand brand new so it's still quite stiff it does lock into place when you folded it and you can pop the handle down so you can see that it's very compact and another great thing about this chassis which i'm going to show you a little bit later is it will fold with the seat unit on that's really really clever too so let's unfold our chassis um, you can pop your handle back up same thing in reverse press your button squeeze the trigger and it literally just comes straight back out you can shake it out or if you really needed to pop your foot on this main bar here not on your axle bar so that is our chassis folded as you can see super super easy now this comes as a fantastic system you can buy it in pieces one of the great things about this you literally can buy the pieces you want so if you just wanted the push chair without the carry cot you could if you wanted the carry cot and seat unit without the car seat you can you can buy what you want whereas a lot of other products you are very much having to buy the whole system there is a bundle price on this really really good bundle price um, we haven't got the exact prices but we think that this uh, with all the pieces is going to be about 1450 pounds which is great value for money so this is the car seat that you can purchase to go with this it's called a viaggio lounge um, and it does now come with a swivel base uh, we have done a separate video on that we're not going to include this in this otherwise it makes it way too long um, but it means that when you put this in the car you do now have the option of having a swivel base as well um, and this car seat will also lie down so it does have a lie down car seat you can see there that i can make it much flatter to pop it on our chassis just line it up I think this is going to be a really really popular option a because the color matches so beautifully but also because as you know we are very very fond of seats that will lie down um, you can see that baby's airways are kept much flatter much more open now we're not encouraging you to use car seats on prams we never do at baby lady because you've got a beautiful beautiful carry cot why would you not use that it is much better to transport your baby in a carry cot wherever possible but we do know that some people are going to want to use this for shorter journeys and it's really simple to use and of course you do have that lay flat option or lay down option which is much much better so to take this off your chassis all you need to do is there's two little catches very similar to what we saw on our carry cot under here lift them up and lift them up the other ones down there somewhere um, and you literally once you've done that you can take that off so as i say we have done a longer video about the car seat rather than take up too much time now i'm going to talk to you now about the seat unit so what I've done is I've popped the carry cot onto the home stand. Now I love the fact that this is included in our bundle price. It means that you can use this in your house, maybe instead of a Moses basket or maybe downstairs. It's one of the things that Europeans do so brilliantly is that I mean maximum use out of our carry cot. If you're going to have a carry cot, let's get the use out of it. So whilst I've done that, I've popped our seat unit onto our push chair and I think you'll agree it does look extremely gorgeous and stylish. I love the fact that we've got this brown leatherette that contrasts so gorgeously with this fabric, which is very, very on trend at the moment. But don't forget there are other fabric options on this if you don't want something like this. So we've got our apron foot muff on here. We can take this off so that we can have a closer look at our seat unit. You also get the option of having a bag or, or a, a rucksack. This is the rucksack. It will hang on the side if you want it to, or you can carry it. There is also a bag option and I think this is a really nice thought that you can either choose whether you want a rucksack or a bag and not many companies do give you that choice and that's that's also a really big plus. So let's have a closer look at our seat unit. Obviously all these colour coordinating with our gorgeous chassis tones, the bumper bar in the matching colour again, adjustable footrest two buttons on either side just press them in like this and you can adjust your footrest or put it back up our backrest again really nice adjustable backrest right down from the flat and you can see how gorgeous and padded this is but you also have lots of different positions so that's one 
two, three, three different heights and very upright here. So a lot of people complain when their child is much older that they want to be sitting fully upright, but the seat is very sloped. This is a really good angle. Our hood comes over and we also have an adjustable hood panel. Just unzip these and look how much coverage we've got now. So really well protected. So if I lay this seat down, you should be able to see the ventilation here. Really, really nice and still big coverage. So we can turn our seat unit round. It's very, very simple to do this. You've got two buttons on the side here and all you do is press them down with your thumb like this. And then I like to use the bumper bar to turn it around. It's very easy to do. And the seat unit is very lightweight. I don't have all the weights here, but it's not heavy at all. Um, they haven't given us the spec on this, but I would say the seat unit's probably about three or four kilos. Maybe the chassis might be about 11. It's not heavy at all. So big seat unit, lots of coverage. You can see if we turn it this way around, it's got a 22 kilogram maximum weight limit. So it will take your bigger child. You've got a gated bumper bar here. So if you want to take it off to make it easier to get baby in and out, you can easily do that. Or you can remove it both sides so you don't have a bumper bar at all. And of course we've got our apron, which we took off earlier. Now, as I said, you can fold this with the seat unit on. Great option if you've got a small car, all you do, pop our seat unit all the way forward like this. And you can also do it forward facing as well. Look how clever that is. Now, if you've got a smaller car, but you still need an off-road push jet, this may well be a really, really good option for you. As I said, you can also purchase this without the carry cot. So again, if you've got a car where you don't have room to put a carry cot, maybe you live upstairs, you haven't got room to store it, your seat unit does lie completely flat, we'll open it back out and have a look at it. So this also could be an option. Just great, great addition. I saw this chassis about a year ago and I desperately said to them, please bring it to the UK because I think it's so, so clever and I'm so glad they did. If I turn this back around again, you can see, and again, it's super easy to do. You can pop your seat unit completely flat. And if we popped our apron on, for those people who don't want to carry cot, um, you can also use it that way. So this is the brilliant new town and country from our lovely friends at PEG. As I said, it comes in a choice of colorways. So there'll be this color, which is brand new for 2024. There's also a gorgeous new gray, um, which I don't have here to show you, but it's, it's sort of a mid gray color. It's lovely. If you want any more details about this, get in touch with the team, we can send you pictures. As I said at the beginning of this video, we are very, very lucky that our lovely friends at PEG have let us borrow this. So it is on our Canterbury shop floor at the moment. If you want to see it in more detail, if you'd like to have a push yourself and see how gorgeous it is, let the team here know, pop over to our Canterbury store. You can see it for yourself. If you don't have any more questions and we haven't answered this video, please pop them in the comments below. If you are on our YouTube channel, as we always say, it really, really helps us. If you would subscribe to our page, just click the bell icon. We can send you all of the new videos of all the new products as we record them. And thank you once again for joining us here at Baby Lady today.